Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things embodiment and being a business owner, spiritual entrepreneur. Today we are covering 2021 and how you can make the most of 2021 by honoring the past. my little notes because I wrote notes on this because I'm trying to be a good little youtuber vegan vibes yay I kind of actually want to make my own stickers soon I am getting so many ideas just flooding through into my brain recently about my clothing line slash merch that I've been wanting to make for years and years and years I didn't know how it was going to come through and now it makes sense TikTok, YouTube, this is my brand now, this is me, this is my expression, and hopefully in a few months time, if you keep subscribing and liking and commenting and sharing, this will be my full-time gig. On a side note, if you have any questions that you want me to answer or video requests, type them down below. This is as much for you as it is for me. Leave a comment or DM me on Instagram. You can't DM me on TikTok because that is a feature that they have not figured out yet. I'm sure it'll be fixed in a few months because TikTok is still super, super new and are just amazing with everything they're doing right now. So 2021 is a year of planting the seeds and watching them starting to fertilize and grow. And you just have to water those babies with the right stuff, okay? That is like the right intentions. That is the right thoughts that is the right actions are you going to schedule things in are you going to just intuitively know when to water them and when to weed them yes i'm a taurus and we are just one with plants and the earth it's a great metaphor for your life get clear on where you want to be this year after you finish this video go and take my how to manifest everything you want for 2021 video which i posted just before New Year's, get clear on what you want for this year. What do you want to call in? Where do you want to be at the end of this year? Because we're still in that really beautiful time, the beginning of the year. We can take time to just get clear on what we want. What do we want to let go of? What do we want to call in? What do we want to manifest? What do we want to continue working on and building so that by the end of the year, you have this vision that's actually coming to life and you can see it in front of you and you can start to receive some of the rewards. You might already be doing this. You might already be receiving some of the rewards. And if so, are your actions still aligned with your vision? And if not, what can you change so that they become more aligned with your vision? The rewards can be reaped more bountifully. So look after the little seedlings that you have planted or are planting right now. We're always planting seeds, so be careful of which one you plant. Don't spend time planting weeds right next to your delicious crop, okay? You're just gonna destroy it all. That's common sense. Look after your body as well. So you need to consume content that lights you up. Consume things from people that light you up as well. Don't spend time going out for lunch with all the Karens in your life, like they don't deserve your time and energy, so why are you doing it? Especially if you're an introvert, which I reckon a lot of you beautiful humans are introverts. I love you. And looking after your body can look like eating the right foods, it can look like anything that you consume basically through social media, through conversations with co-workers, with family, conversations with friends who are maybe not on your path anymore. Take yourself on dates. I'm spending so much more time by myself this year. Quarantine definitely like showed me, forced me into that life, but I'm realizing that it's actually where I work best. It's almost like I have to process and let go of all of the anxiety that I've had over the last few years from hanging out with too many people at too many times and not honoring my energy. I get to take a big breath and just be like, <sighs> and just let it out and just be myself by myself and I really enjoy that. Take yourself on dates, read more, write music, write poetry, listen to different genres of music. It's okay to listen to really sad music sometimes. Yesterday I had a really like sad day and I just wanted to listen to sad music and cry. I just needed a sad day and that's okay. 
but I fully judged myself for it. I was like, oh, I should stop listening to this music. It's making me cry. Is this bad for my mental health? Am I allowed to cry? Why aren't humans allowed to cry more? Why isn't it accepted that we don't cry more? And I'm just sitting with it for the day and it was really beautiful. This year, a lot of people are starting new careers as well. If you've been considering starting a new career or going back to university, starting a new sport, a new hobby, moving into a new space, this is the year to do it. Like we don't have to have everything together, especially this year. This is the year where everyone's like, okay, we can figure it out. We can spend time figuring out our stuff, play with it more, bring that childlike energy back into figuring out life because we're always figuring it out. The thing is we never have it all together and we need to stop judging ourselves for not having it all together because we never have it all together. Maybe we become better adults and better at paying rent on time and looking after our bodies, which is also amazing, obviously. I want my own apartment by the end of the year. I'm calling in a very adult situation to work for myself, to have my brand, a clothing line and an album out, like all of this stuff. But in the meantime, I'm just human and I'm just an awkward introverted turtle and I, get scared in social situations and I don't like drinking and I don't like bars because it takes me out of my body. I just like my routine, I wake up, I dance, I wash my face, I put the same outfit on, I go to the coffee store, I get my decaf oat latte with vanilla, I walk home, I spend the day on my bed creating content. You say hi to the Uber Eats driver and then I do it all over again. Get comfortable with the unknown, okay? Let's all come together this year and just talk about the unknown more. I think people start talking about things when they believe that they're accomplishments, when they've already got the job or they've already got the career sorted or they've already completed the degree or they're already enrolled into university, done the physical things. But there's this period of unknown throughout it all that everybody goes through and not many people talk about. We're just kind of floundering around and trying to tune in to what feels right if we're actually just living a life that we want. And I need to make a point here, okay? It is healthy to go through that unknown stage. We're going to go through it over and over again in our lifetime. But because you're spending time in the unknown and acknowledging it and trying to look after yourself as best you can whilst being in that anxiety inducing situation, you're taking steps to align your soul with your soul's path. Align your body, your mind, your heart, your womb space. Align yourself with what you're supposed to do on this earth and who you want to help who you want to be, where you want to live, who you want to surround yourself with, what kind of partners you want to bring in, what lifestyle choices you want to make. We consistently go through these patterns, so we need to talk about them more. It's in that unknown that everything is created. As I said in one of my last videos, I think it was the video about change and pivoting, so you can go back and check that one if you want to. When you're in this little cocoon and you're still half in the darkness and half in the light, it's scary. It feels weird. It doesn't feel good, but it is a healthy state to be in. You're still in a good, not the things that are good or bad. You're still in a good state of living. You're still embodied. You're still aligned. Often being unaligned is being aligned because it allows you to recognize that you don't feel like you're on the right path for you and you can take steps to become more aligned and embodied. It's really this powerful, powerful time for us to all tune into and something that we just cannot rush. Like don't rush this process. I'm basically going to take this whole year to just figure it out and if I don't figure it out by the end of the year then I'm just going to keep year after year, just I'll figure it out. Like it's okay, it doesn't have to come with all this pressure. I do have a feeling of where I'm going to be at, what kind of environment I'm going to be around and how successful my channel is going to be by the end of the year. As long as I stick to the commitments that I made with myself and have fun along the way, have fun learning, then yeah, I pretty much know where my baseline is going to be at by the end of the year but I have no idea what's coming after that it could be a whole other vision that I haven't even yet come to terms with that is still somewhere processing in the back of my mind or maybe my higher self knows what's coming and 
she kind of doesn't want to tell me yet because I'm not ready for it, like whatever. If you're listening, please tell me, I would like to know. Last year we basically had our foundation ripped out from underneath us with no warning. And this year is about rebuilding it. Our whole house got like demolished basically, energetically where we live, so that we can now rebuild it in a way that we want our life to look like. And for a lot of us, that is going to come with not socializing as much. Not that a lot of us can do that around the world. Some places are still in heavy lockdowns and I feel for you. I also kind of want to put myself into like a lockdown this year. I want to get like an apartment space and just like lock myself away because I feel like I just need time to not have any commitments to anyone and just commit to myself and my learning. Fear not because you will still be seeing me every single week for the end of the year. I'm still showing my weird, wonderful face on TikTok many, many times a day. I did my first live the other day as well, which was super fun to connect with everyone. And as the community grows, I'm super excited to do more of that and just let you in on my life, my daily life. And learning that I really appreciate that about YouTubers or people that I follow or even like friends. I just love being able to tune into their daily life. It kind of helps me feel normal in my weird ways. Again, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Make sure you subscribe and hit that thumbs up if you found any value from this or if you just want to be a nice person to someone today. But you're a free person. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down, whatever. If you have any friends that would find some value from these videos, please share it to them. That is how this community is going to grow. That is how I'm going to be able to take this full time and focus on creating stuff for you and doing it as freely as possible. I'm excited to see you and hang out and get to know you all a little bit better. Mm -hmm.